welcome back. So now we have Express and Mongo set up and we know how to make get and post requests from Backbone to the server. In this final part of this tutorial, we're going to learn how to make update or put requests from Backbone to the server as well as delete or remove requests. So the first thing we want to do is um, you'll notice that for our so you'll notice that for the data that we put into the database, they have these um, ID numbers here. And so these ID numbers are what we're going to use to uh, specifically identify each of the uh, pieces of data that we're going to update and delete. But Backbone needs a little bit of an editing. But we need to edit Backbone a little bit to make those ID numbers work because Backbone uses, um, let me go to my scripts file here. Backbone uses an ID that has the format that. You'll notice that our, our IDs look like this. And so Backbone looks like that, our IDs look like this. We want to change Backbone to uh, look for these IDs in that format. So to do that, we're going to do, uh, wait, let's erase this for now. We're going to just type in up here, backbone.model.prototype.id attribute. So we're going to change the ID attribute that Backbone is looking for, and it's going to be to uh, this underscore ID right there. And so let's just leave that there. So now let's start by making our functionality for the delete request. And so to do that, we're going to go down here to the delete button here. And it says here this dot model dot destroy. And so we're just going to um, edit that. Uh, so this is this. So this code is automatically going to make a request to the server. We're just going to again add in a um, success and error message here. So let's type in uh, success function response, and it's going to be console dot log successfully deleted log with again we'll do the same ID thing just to. Um, know exactly what we're deleting with ID. We're going to do response dot to JSON dot underscore ID right there. And then for our error, we're going to do function. We're going to console dot log failed to delete blog. And so now that we have this set up, we're going to go back to our server.js and we're going to create our delete route right here. So we're going to type in down here uh, app.delete, delete, and it's going to have the route. We're going to add a little something to our route here. So API slash blogs slash, we're going to identify specifically the ID that is going to be sent um, here. And so the ID here is going to be sent from the destroy model here. So when we send in this destroy, it's going to automatically send in the ID of the um, blog that we want to destroy. And so it's going to have function request response. And our response is going to be to, and let's just start with the database part, blog.remove. And we want to remove the blog with ID and the ID that we're going to remove is going to be request params ID. So this request params ID is going to take this ID from here, the ID that was sent over to the server, and it's going to say, I want to remove the blog with this ID. And what we're going to do then is we're going to function error, and we're just going to um, response.send and we're going to send back uh, so the client side is going to be looking for a JSON format so we're going to send back something in a JSON format just ID we're just going to send back the ID that was sent over to the server so request params dot ID right here and let's close this right here as well as this let's put a semicolon right here I forgot a parentheses here as well as at the end here, I believe. So let's save it. I forgot the S right here. So let's um, comment 
this out right here. And before we test this out, let's again console log what's going on here. So let's type in console.log and we're just going to say received a delete request for again just the ID and we're going to give it request params ID so um, just so we can keep track of what exactly is going on so now let's go back to our server or our terminal let's type in node server let's say server on 3000 let's go back to our browser let's refresh it and you'll see these right here let's try clicking on a delete button and it'll say here successfully deleted blog with ID this and in our terminal it says received a delete request for ID this so that means that our delete button is working so if we deleted uh, another one when we refresh our browser it'll save the delete um, from our database and so that is stored um, in our database or taken out of our database permanently uh, so our delete button is working now and so we have one last thing to do which is our edit button and then we will be done with our blog roll app so let's go back to our sublime text to do our delete functionality, we're going to go up to this update uh, function right here. And below here, we're just going to type in this.model.save. And again, let's pass in a null here because it's looking for two um, parameters and we want our callback to be the second one. And again, we have all of this set up here, so we don't need to do that again down here. So let's just type in uh, success is going to be function response same thing as last time we're just going to do console.log successfully updated log with id and it's going to be response.toJSON.id right here and then down here we're going to do the same thing as before our error message is going to be response we're going to console.log failed to update blog and hopefully again that will not show up so now this is going to send a put request over to our server so now we need to create our put route so underneath our delete route right there let's type in app dot put slash api slash blogs slash again we're going to um, capture that id right there and it's going to be function request response and we'll add in the console log later so let's first do blog dot update and again we're going to do the same thing as before the id is going to be the request params dot id and we're going to change the data to be request dot body so the request.body is going to be uh, basically these three things right up here. That's going to be uh, set as the new piece of data for this blog right here. And we're going to function error and we're going to response that's and again uh, it's going to be looking for a JSON format response. So let's again just send back the ID same as before request.params.id so we're going to respond with the same ID that was sent over to us and let's close these with semicolons and so now let's add in this console log up here just so we can again keep track of what exactly is going on and we're going to do um, received an update 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 request for ID request.params.id right there so uh, when that request is sent through we will be able to keep track of that so now let's go back to our uh, terminal refresh control C right there and let's type in uh, node server it'll say server on 3000 let's go back to our uh, browser here refresh our browser and then let's try to update one of these so let's type in edit and let's just type in Michael's blog, Michael's blog um, 2.0, and Michael's great blog. And let's click on update here. And it'll say successfully updated blog with ID this. And over at our terminal, it'll say received an update request for ID this. So now everything 
officially works now. We can just play around with it. We can add in Tim, Tim's blog, HTTP colon slash slash Tim's blog dot com. We can do uh, add. It'll say successfully saved blog, and then we can delete this one. Successfully deleted blog. I received a delete request. So everything works great, and this is just wonderful. Let's just make one more addition. John's awesome blog. Let's change this to John's awesome blog and John's awesome blog update. You can see these um, console logs that are showing us exactly what is going on. And our blog role app is officially finished. Hopefully you found this tutorial helpful. Uh, be, be sure to stay tuned for more videos. And that's it for now. All right, bye.